Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a redo video for the what is it? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a redo video for a re-review, or it's kind of the video gonna be titled "Let's Try This Again." Uh, Limp Biscuit with their new album "Still Sucks" that I'm gonna be redoing again and re-reviewing and give you my official initial thoughts on what I really thought of it now as of listening to it two to three times now so yeah I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this uh 32 minute album uh two extra times because I was in a certain mindset on Halloween where I was just not liking it and now coming back to it yeah I'll tell you what I think of it so and let me and I'll let you know what I thought of this album listening to it a few more times again so let's dive into this redo review uh now yeah I'm really sorry that I trashed them in the last review, I did take that review down. This review should clear things up. I think it's an average album. Um, it's not the best work from them. Uh, but it's something that I had a little bit of fun listening to it. I just had to be in a certain mindset where I didn't think it was cheesy or anything, which it does come off cheesy and corny. Uh, some of the time, but at the end of the day, they're just trying to have fun with this album. I haven't listened to Golden Cobra, so I wouldn't know if it was good or not. But I hear a lot of opinions that say it sucks and all that. But Out of Style, I'm actually liking that song. Um, The Fresh part, I don't know if I feel for it. But for what it is, it's pretty good. So 5 out of 5. I like the guitar riff in it. And yeah, at the time, I just wasn't sure if I was feeling for this album first listen. So I had to listen to it a few more times. And I do apologize for flip-flopping and saying, oh, well, one, I hated this album. And now I'm starting to really kind of like this album. After repeated listens. I did listen to it at work today. So yeah I had a little fun listening to it. <laughs> uh, Dirty Rotten Biscuit was a really good song. I really liked it. 5 out of 5 for me on that. I just love the drum work. And how hard the song slaps. And the way it's playing out. Sounds really good. Dad Vibes. I'd give that probably... A four out of five now it's decent um the flowing is good but it's just the way it's presenting itself i don't know if i'm sure about liking it as much but it is what it is um it's not a bad song uh turn it up bitch is getting a 3.5 out of 5 i don't know if it's my favorite one but it's just the weirdness in the song that uh i'm kind of enjoying but I'll listen to it a few more times to see if it really grows on me by the end of the year when I put it on a certain list. It's not going to be on the worst albums this time around. So you don't have to see that review again because that review kind of wasn't that great. <laughs> um, don't Change was not a bad song. I give that a 4.5 out of 5. You bring out the worst to me. Very good stuff. I was surprised with the scream, honestly. I did not expect the scream part to be very good. And yeah. But it was enjoyable. Um, Love the hate. Four out of five for me. I still feel the same about it when I reviewed it. But it's not bad. Barnacle. It's pretty good. Uh, 5 out of 5 for me on that one. Uh, I like Fred Durst's screams in it at certain moments in the song. Um, Empty Hole was very good. I really like that song. Uh, then comes Pill Popper, and that was 
decent. So four out of five, and f the last two songs. I think Goodbye was the weakest song on this album. It's not a bad closer, but it's eh, it's average. And Snacky Poo, uh, the interview part, I wasn't sure if I was liking. But the flow and how it's sounding is not too bad. So, yeah. Um, for majority of this album, I think it's average. It's not a bad album. It's just... I was in that mindset where I just felt that it was corny and cheesy and I hated it so much. So I just was in the wrong mindset at the time of listening to that album and I had to give it another chance or two to see if it would grow on me. So it has grown on me a lot more than I thought and it will be off my worst albums of 2021. So. The only album that really did suck was the Insane Clown Posse album. So, fuck that album. But, overall, I think Limp Bizkit's Still Sucks album was not a bad listen. I wouldn't call it album of the year, but it's good for what it is, I guess you could say. There's some pretty solid songs on here. And, for the runtime it went for, they nail it straight to the point and don't uh, try to drag it out longer, but they keep it the runtime it's going for. So, first score now, I would give Limp Biscuits Still Sucks a 7.5 out of 10. It's average. It's not bad. <clears throat> and sorry that my throat got a little scratchy. I just, and I do apologize for my last review. I really feel bad for trashing it. So, I'm changing my opinion and giving it a 7.5 out of 10. It's grown on me a lot more, so I wouldn't consider it best album, but it is what it is, I guess. I just have to listen to it a few more times to see if it grows on me a little more, but for now, 7.5 out of 10. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Limp Biscuit album. Still sucks if you've heard it. I know it came out on Halloween, and I had to listen to it a little bit more just to see if it would grow on me, like I said. But at the time, like I said, I was just in that hate spree mood or in a bad mood that morning, and I just wasn't sure what to think of that album at first. And now, after listening to it a little more, it's grown on me a lot more. So, yeah. If you did enjoy this album, let's try this again. Limp Biscuit Still Sucks album review. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this redo album review if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I wanted to give a perfectly honest review. This is not the best album, like I said, but it's something to enjoy for a while. And Limp Biscuit tried new things with their sound. Uh, they tried metalcore stuff. They tried um, screams. Fred Durst can scream in this album. And I was surprised. I thought it sucked at first, but after hearing it a few more times, I'm like, okay, this is not bad. So, yeah, this album has grown on me a little more. So, I will return to you tonight for another review, and it'll be for... Dream Theater's Distance Over Time re-review. I'm going to try to get it done as soon as possible. I just wanted to do this redo review for Limp Biscuit. Uh, still sucks redo review for this album review. This is the official and last final rating I'm giving it. And that's a 7.5 out of 10. So I'm not rating it any higher. It's getting that rating. It's not a bad album. And that's, I'm going to stick with that rating. So it will be on my Decent to Good Albums of 2021 by the <clears throat> end of the year. So anyways, sorry that my throat's a little scratchy. I just still got to finish eating. But stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon in the next review.